on March 16, 2011, a Yinjibandi community meeting was held in Roburn. All Yinjibandi were invited, and both the Yinjibandi Aboriginal Corporation and the Woolamara Yinjibandi encouraged all Yinjibandi to attend. 170 attended the meeting in Roburn on March 16. All had the right to vote, regardless of where they came from, regardless of how they travelled to the meeting. My name is Ellery, I'm born and raised in this town of Roburn. And we're here in this beautiful town of Roburn to say that we have families from all walks of life, not just a small family, a wide spread family, and we're all connected to each other through our skin group. I'm from Roburn, I was born in Roburn. I was born in Carnarvon. We're in Japan. We're brothers. They're all in Japan, except from the non-Aboriginal people. And what actually happened is there was a number of people, especially the Carnarvon um, families, um, they're Indian people, they, they come to also representing their interests in the country. Yeah, everyone was allowed to come in, which, which everyone did, and everyone had the time to vote. I lived here all my life, and the people had come far and wide, and we look into the, um, you know, the history where they come from. They are anybody. We accept them as anybody because they are anybody. And that's no word of lie that they we all come as one. Whether there was a group belong to the Yak or the group belong to Wulumara, um, we are anybody. Elders um, from our group split because they saw the way Michael was running Yak was, wasn't being beneficial towards them, mm -hmm. to, towards the elders, towards the children, towards the community. It was like he had his own little select group that he always looked after. He left the rest of the people out. And for him to come out and say that the people from Carnarvon weren't recognized by the local independent group, that's wrong. If he went back into history and had a look at the background of those people who came from Carnarvon, their elders are from here. In Aboriginal law and culture, you have elders everywhere. You have women and men. And for him to just to throw these old people aside, that is why they formed their own corporation. And it's, that is very rude for him to call our group breakaways. The reason they broke away, because of his treatment of the people. He was abusing them mentally and physically and threatening them. So why should they hang around with somebody who they thought would look after them, who they put there in the first place, and he, tur and he turns, turns that around against them. And he uses all the knowledge that they gave to him and his media, media group is against him. Use it against them. And it's been bullying. A lot of bullying. In Norwegian, and that's why it was split up and no one was having their say. There was only one person speaking. It was a Michael. And yeah, it's swear it's on the media and all. And it's not properly representing it. You know, we had a lot of respect for him. But the way he treated our old people, by threatening and bullying them, and he's not looking after our young people, there's nothing happening for our young people. What did he set up? All he set up was a media group to run people down. Mm. That's terrible. Fortescue offered $10.5 million per year to the Injibandi, a package which includes training, business development and housing. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Forrest. I have a real heart for 
the people here have a great love for this country um, and I do want to um, do uh, whatever I can to see this community grow and improve with my own efforts and with your own efforts working together. We had a similar agreement for the people of Port Hedland and we have excelled the value of that agreement by probably eight to nine times. Only in, in salaries and wages alone for the Aboriginal people around that Port Hedland district, which is now, we now employ over 350 people, we pay salaries alone to Aboriginal people of over $24 million a year. The $4 million pales into insignificance with that. If you give me the opportunity and you give my company the opportunity, I want to do the same thing for you. 120 people at the meeting voted in favour of the Fortescue offer. FMG is just a mining company that come into this town to offer our people better things, offer our kids education, jobs, training. And Michael wants to block all that for what? Heaps of money? Everybody's rich in themselves. It's up to the individual person to, if he wants to be a millionaire, yeah, go ahead and do it yourself. It's good for the community and good for the, the families. Yeah, for our education, for our kids, and employment, and for the boys, and business-wise, for the young generations to come up. And that's what everyone wanted, but just been waiting, waiting. So now that it's happening, so people want to live on. It's important now you have Very good education, you have a job, a license, and where we can help our young people. Because some of them have been doing courses. The job's important to, to people so that they can better themselves and also to their quality of life changes. They have a standing in the community that's, um, that makes them feel important and other than doing something, not doing anything and sitting down in the community. But the job gives them a right range of things. And first of all, it's a security for the financial security for themselves and also for their children to fit in. Look, I'll be very, very quick, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to say to you that I think you've been really brave. I think you've been very selfless, you've been courageous for your kids, courageous for the future generations of Gingerbani people. I'm so proud and grateful of you. I've, I've grown up in this country, as I said, I've seen what just money does for our Aboriginal people. And if you have opportunities, if you have the opportunity to have a real crack yourself. You do well as any white man every time. We will follow through with everything we have discussed and we'll want to make further agreements with you so that we can really employ your people, give you businesses and get you in command of your own futures. So it's not some mining company or some government or some royalty payment which determines what house you live in, which determines where you send your kids to school. You choose it yourself. You've taken this step today. Be assured, Fortescue, and I personally am absolutely committed to you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.